Hello everyone, welcome again to another series of video from Electronics Eternity. Uh, in this time around, we'll be looking at how to upload code into 80 mega chip using uh, an FTI, FTDI module. Uh, so in this case, I'm using uh, FTDI module named as FT232RL. So uh, be before we get into uh, further details, right? So uh, there, there are a few things we, we need to understand on, on why we're doing this, right? So uh, first of all, this is an easy way of uploading a code into your 80 mega chip. Instead of taking this chip and, and putting it in your Arduino Uno every single time you want to upload a code, right? That much that might damage the pin. And uh, by, by doing this, you can directly upload the code into your 80 mega chip, right? So you don't have to attach and detach your 80 mega chip from your Arduino Uno every single time you do this. Okay, so that is why we're doing this. And uh, it's also important to ensure that we have the Arduino bootloader inside this chip already burned into it. Uh, if you don't, then you can't upload the code, right? We, we need to have that, uh, you know, as, as a prerequisite inside the chip before we can upload any code into it. Okay, so uh, that's the two things that we need to know before we upload the, uh, any codes into your AT Mega chip, right? So uh, in, in this tutorial, as you can see, I'm, I'm, I've already uploaded the Blink program, right? As you can see, there's an LED over here and it blinks every one second or, or so, right? So this is a proof that the code uploading that I've done is actually working and uh, it's executing the command in a loop. Okay, so uh, this is a proof that this is working and uh, and uh, do not worry about the circuit. Uh, I will provide you the freeze diagram as usual. Uh, this is how the freeze diagram will look like. Okay, so once you have set up your uh, circuit like this, based on the first diagram, uh, you need to then connect this FTDI model. Let me just take it out. Okay, this is the model that I'm using. It's named as uh, FT232RL, and uh, I'm, I'm using this for this tutorial. There are many modules. I think everything works pretty much the same. So when, when you plug this into your computer's USB, uh, you know, probably some of the windows might be able to detect and, and some cannot detect this. So when, when that happens, what you need to do is uh, you need to uh, install a driver, right? So the drivers for these modules are already available in Google. You just have to search it and, uh, you know, uh, install the one that works for you, right? So I've tried a few and, and, and I finally found the one that works with this particular module. And the moment... The driver is successfully installed. Uh, you should see in your device manager that this particular device is being detected as port, right? So this is how it would look like in your device manager. Okay, so the moment it is being detected as a port, then your Arduino can detect in its Arduino IDE software, and then you can just uh, subsequently perform the code upload. Right, so you can perform the upload then and it will successfully upload the program like what you're seeing now. Okay, so apart from this, I don't think there's anything else to note. Uh, so with that being said, uh, I think uh, that that's all. If you need more information, you can always refer my blog and post any comments and questions that you have. Thank you for watching.